Men are notorious for not wanting to see the doctor, even when we know that we should. Almost half of all men over the age of 50 suffer from an enlarged prostate, yet many try to avoid seeking medical care. Well, good news, guys. A new proven treatment is now available. Dr. Matthew Ercolani of Elite Urology of Southwest Florida is here to tell us about the non-invasive option called Eurolift. Well, I think this is going to be a relief to a lot of guys everywhere. Tell us about this condition. It's, it's more common than we realize. It's BPH. What is it? So BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia. It's a fancy term for saying that the prostate's enlarged. That happens to men as they get older in life. 40 million people in our country suffer from it, men. Um, and as you get older, the percentage grows uh, exponentially. So we have 12 million men in the country who are getting treated for this problem and only about 3% of them seek any type of surgical treatment. There's wow. other, other available options, but. So this is an illustration of the prostate, and so tell us what, what we're seeing here and, and what the symptoms are. So when a, a man comes into my office, I basically describe the prostate as an apple, and the apple has two sides to it and a core, and the, as the prostate grows, there should be a tube running down the middle of the prostate that allows the urine to flow those two sides tend to grow and close off that tube and that results in uh, problems with urinating. The goal is to try to make that tube wider for men so that they don't have these symptoms. Because those symptoms can be every, everywhere from inconvenient to painful, right? Uh, they're terrible. Uh, the symptoms include things like not uh, having an urge to go to the bathroom all the time, waking up several times at night, leaking urine, mm -hmm. uh, constantly worrying about finding a bathroom. So you can't go anywhere in a car without stopping. I have guys that they have to map out the restaurants, the gas stations, wow. the places where oh. they go. It's, it's, a, it's a very difficult problem. Yet still, a lot of the men won't seek treatment. Does that have to do with what treatment options are available now and, and the side effects? What are they? So a big part of the problem is just uh, education. I think uh, people equate this problem with cancer, and this is not. This is a benign condition. And so when we're, when we're trying to uh, provide solutions, sometimes they don't come to the doctor because they're worried about the end mm. thing that right. I might tell them. Um, so in terms of solutions, they can be as simple as taking a pill, which is the first thing that we offer. We always try to choose a non-invasive option as a, as a first option. And then we progress to uh, more invasive procedures the more uh, difficult the problem is. So that can be something called a TURP, which is a fancy term. rotor rooter is actually what I refer oh. to it for the patients. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's uh, to use that apple example again, it's like taking an apple and coring it uh, using a, a, a surgical instrument so that you can create an open tube through the middle of that apple. And that improves the flow and takes care of most of the problems. All right, now tell us about Eurolift. So right. this, uh, this is something that I feel like a lot of the guys could, could relax about because this is a new option. Tell Abs us about absolutely. It. So Eurolift is much different. The idea behind Eurolift is that you are inserting things that are almost, if you think of the prostate as two curtains, the curtains can be pulled apart using implants that are very easy to put in, almost pain-free, have very low um, recovery time. And so if you see on the animation, we've, we've got two sides that are stuck together. We place these implants in. There's typically four to six implants that we use. And it just pulls the two sides of the prostate apart. And that can be done uh, very quickly, safely, and with very minimal uh, problems after for the patient. And, and the recovery is, is, sounds like a much more uh, agreeable option than some of the others. Yeah, so I, I, my patients are playing golf typically within a week after the oh, procedure. Wow. So it's, it's a really quick recovery. It's something that they can do uh, that's not this giant step of, uh, of thinking that they need several weeks of recovery time or being in the hospital. It's important to know that it's an outpatient procedure, so they're going in and wow. out the same yeah. day. This Just should take some of back. that anxiety mm -hmm. away, too. And I know that you have been designated a center of excellence for treating patients, for a Eurolift center of excellence, which is important when people are considering this option. Well, you can find out more about Eurolift and other treatment options by contacting Elite Urology of Southwest Florida. You can find more information online at their website, EliteUrologyofSWFL.com.